like getting out of here that easy. Need to open the door, but the lever is missing. Boris probably has it. Hey, buddy, you seen that lever handle around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? I thought so. Let's see what we got. That should be enough. Here you go. Let's see what's out there. Don't wander off. Ha! Found you! I have been looking for you for several days. It's been absurd the week you disappeared was crazy an absolute just mayhem for me like the first month alone i searched through the entire top floor of this facility it's just ah okay but anyway i still have stuff to tell you do not wander off without your tour guide this is this is not the place that you want to be lost in oh boy and I've got some places, some things to tell you about this place too. So, you might have noticed that when wandering around you saw this. Well, okay, fine. Maybe. But, well, you might have also noticed there's a bathroom with a locked door in it. And, well, a bunch of weird things sprinkled around. Most of it doesn't do anything. One, one thing to notice though is that you can't see Henry's reflection, of course. And, in here, the door is now open. Extra bacon soup. Also, it flushes. Disgusting. I know. Um, and here though, important thing, grab the bone. This will be important for later. And by later, I mean now. I'm so glad I caught you before you left. Ah, oh, that would have been so, so awkward. But anyway, with this bone, what you can do is this. Yay, Boris now has a bone. Fantastic. Oh boy. So this chapter is the one that I stopped my own series on it. Um, everything was crazy. A lot more, like little clues here, like for example, here's a safe house, they're gonna be using that, and they put a cot out of Bendy right outside the safe house. What do you think you're gonna be using it for? I can tell you, probably not the cutout version of Bendy. Anyway. Looks like it's really dark up ahead. <sighs> Let's find some light. Ah, I forgot. Hello, I am Random Face. And welcome back to Bendy. Boris, get out of the way. Boris, Boris. Bendy and the ink machine. Oh boy. Just, I have to tell you this. Here, Boris. Let's put the light near you so you don't get lost. Uh, <laughs> it's just absurd. Boris won't progress without you. That's a good thing. And this place is just really creepy. I'm pretty sure you know that by now. You've been here for... What year is it? No clue. But... You've just been here for a while. I've been searching. It's absurd. I've seen things that can't be unseen. Nothing can be unseen. I'm so tired of hearing those footsteps go by. Yeah, running past neither. the same area over and over and over again only to remember that oh wait you would be in the safe house except i didn't know where the safe house was i've never been on the other side of the camera with this game in particular before <sighs> just bye another dead end i don't see any other way through you got any ideas for us talk to boris okay and talk with him Yep, and there he goes. Through the vents, and you're just waiting here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just that's just how it goes. I have no idea how you survived, especially on this level. Like, how did you do that? How? 
Oh wait, no, Boris, safe house. Duh. <sighs> yep. I keep on forgetting because you know it was like it was just you know I searched through three few levels, searched through this level the most, obviously. Just kind of couldn't find the safe house. Really dumb. Wow. I don't remember any of this. I mean, yeah. <sighs> That's the one thing I find really weird about all this. Henry doesn't remember any here. And this suggests some kind of cultural icon at this point that you're able to build this. Yeah, you're gonna get another guest soon. Uh huh. Why is there always something blocking the door? Gotta be a way through. Yep, there is. But first, we gotta listen to something. Figure. Going through all the different I hear something. No, that's that's nothing. Anyway, look at this. Look at this all. You have to find a way. Work oh look, right here. Nothing. Once again, from the game design was like a lever that you walk past, you have to flip. Um, thankfully, sometimes the wires have, well, the wires have glowing paths that lead you to where it's supposed to be, and everything you're supposed to interact with is also glowing, so, good. Gotta fix this machine here. Not the ink machine, mind you, just a machine. Ah, oh boy. Just, you lost me for so long. Don't let it happen again. By the way, just don't, okay? Yay! This is a really dangerous area. A lot of things happen. Oh boy. Yep. Stay near me. What did I tell you? Uh, what did I tell you? I... I don't know where I went, but I would definitely... Ha, whatever. I'm here now. This is fine. Anyway, the demon path and the angel path. Now, a little bit of poor game design here. But a little bit of clever one at the same time. The demon path is harder. The angel path is easier. The demon path gives you a reward if you're able to get through it without dying. The angel path gives you a voice clip that's different. And the demon class all path also gives you a voice clip. 
I'm gonna take you through the demon path. Because... Yeah. That's just how things go. Once you begin heading through... The other path closes off. You can't go through it anymore. Lots and lots of ink in this one, though. The other one doesn't isn't covered with ink, but this one is. I wonder what it means. Oh boy. Anyway, here's the voice clip. You like listening to those, right? Right. Anyway, yeah, Joey Drew definitely went crazy. That's what I get from that. Joey Drew is crazy. How do I get that? I don't know. Just something happens. Ugh. Nothing's dangerous right now, though. You don't have to worry. Not quite yet. Things aren't going to be brought up to 11 yet. Go ahead, run all you want to. Oh boy. I am always terrified of this chapter. Uh Boris. Oh, you're scaring me to death. Does Boris have a little bit of anything a we can use to protect ourselves with? I'm yourself. Take the jet pipe from Boris. This will do. Yay, jet pipe. Sweet. Ah, oh, boy. Ah, oh, boy. I'm not even halfway. Th I'm not even through most of it. So anyway, most of this is hang on. Nope. Don't. Don't go forward. Don't, don't go forward. Stop. Most of this is a place that you'll definitely explore later. So you don't need to explore it absolutely right now. There are a few Looks areas. Like to open this, we need to throw two levers at once. You get this one. I'll find the other. There are a few areas that you can, that you can explore to a certain extent. Like this one right now. Let's go, let's go down here. This area usually doesn't have a lot in it. This particular one. Though, I kind of want to show you it. A little bit of fun. Um, when this chapter was first came out, I don't think this area was here. See, this particular area was the area that was used for the trailer for this particular chapter. It's kind of a shame that it wasn't like used as advertised, but you know, whatever. The creator lied to us. The slogan of whoever's down here. <sighs> yeah. It's just all kinds of gear and interesting. But, yeah. And another voice clip because you really like those. Uh, yep. Wally Franks and the new character Thomas. Anyway, yeah, it's pretty... Wait, was Thomas in previous chapters? I don't know. But, anyway, time to find that other lever. I suppose it's down this way. Right? I probably should have told you. Um, there are brand new monsters running around and they're a lot better at attacking you than the searchers. The searchers were those ink creatures before that were crawling on the floor. Yeah. These guys attack a lot more than they do. And they have a lot more health. Anyway. Time to go forward. Time to do this thing. You need to find the secrets of this place. 
Now I need to show them to you. So yeah. Anyway, the way this all goes is that it's just... It's like this. You have a bunch of floors, which is the first level. Double K. Ugh. Boring it was. Um, you have a lot of stuff to do. Everything that you go through. Just an elevator, a central elevator system. You this chapter is far, far bigger than the others. So different. I have to say, I'm an instant fan. Looks like you've got a date with an angel. Come to me now. Level 9. Just follow the screams. Yeah, brand new characters as well. This is just absurd. This is all that goes on. <laughs> This particular chapter is awesome and crazy. Was awesome, or awesome easy, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> We're not here to make weirdly charming names. We're here to just go on and try. Come on, step out your cage. Well, there's a whole twisted world out here. Punching <laughs> in. Yeah. More voice logs. Thomas Connor. Possibly the smartest person in this entire place. We can open up a lot of these boxes, although they're not going to hold anything. Um, I guess Boris just wants to go through this door. Oh boy, I don't like this. I really don't like this. I'm sorry. Boris wants to go off. Go ahead, take your time to explore this place because, um, you're not coming back. And while there aren't a lot of details that's really important in this place, if it's if you miss anything, you miss everything. So Yeah. Remember the dead Boris in chapter one? There's a lot of them here. It took so many of them to make me so beautiful. Anything less than perfect was left behind. I had to do it. She made me. Yeah. There are two people in Alice right now. Um. Oh my goodness. Let me just give you the voice clip and I'll tell you a little bit about this place. Who would have thought? Me having lunch with Joey Giroux. Apparently times are tougher than I thought. For a moment there, I thought I'd be stuck with the check. But I gotta say, he wasn't at all what I expected. Quite the charmer. He even called me Alice. I liked it. Yep. Susie Campbell, the voice actor for Alice Angel, as we learned in the second chapter. Um, this place is really creepy. Let me just tell you, I've... Uh, in all the time I was looking for you, Alice only let me have access to this area a couple times. Like, uh, I tried not... Uh, whatever. I, uh, I had to do a wipe on her. Just make sure that nothing stuck. Anyway, oh boy, all the Boris stuff, I don't think they've ever changed. They might have changed models a few times, but I don't remember this place ever changing. Which odd, really odd to me. This one in particular was actually part of a Twitter photo contest. Um, trying to find this guy hanging from places and well, this location was one of the places to get that picture. But yeah. Lots of cutouts, brand new cutouts of Alice Angel. And, well... Don't wander off. Hmm. Now we come to the question. Do I kill you? Do I tear you apart to my heart's delight? The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. How's a girl to choose? <laughs> Take this little freak, for instance. He crawled in here, 
trailing his tainted ink to my door. It could have touched me. It could have pulled me back. Do you know what it's like living in the dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like, like fish in a bowl. First I was born from its inky womb. I was a wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. The second time, well, it made me an angel. I will not let the demon touch me again. I'm so close now. So almost perfect. <sighs> yes, I will spare you. For now. Better yet, I'll even let you ascend and leave this place. If you will do a few easy, weensy little favors for me first. Return to the lift, my little errand boy. We have work to do. My machines are hungry. Gather me some spare parts. Oh boy. I'm sorry about this. I'm gonna take control for this. And I'm not always the best at this part. I die a lot. Should be fine. But if all goes wrong, well. Know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I fail you here. I don't always succeed at that one. So quiet. Oh. Like a welcoming grave. I like the silence. Don't you? No, it makes me think that Benny's gonna appear. Please. Oh, I hate leaving work unfinished. Thank you for closing the door. Fortunately, I have you to pick up the pieces. But you'll have to go even deeper. Down, down, down. Okay. If I go away again, take the lift down. Say hello to an old friend. I'm going to leave you with something that Send perhaps. Send you a little present, a little firepower. Yeah. Take good care of it. It belonged to someone very special. If anything were to happen, defend yourself with it. <sighs> Thank goodness.
I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea what's going on. I can't seem to stay with you for two seconds. I'm sorry. I got after you. And okay, before I, before I disappear again, there's a secret in the stairwell next to the P level. After you get that, go ahead, do whatever you want. Um, I'll get you as far as I can if I don't disappear first. Hopefully, Bendy doesn't appear. This gun is very not loud, so it could just lure Bendy to us simply based on its loudness. But there is a secret. Oh boy. I hope you went through the basement well. Oh my goodness. Hopefully nothing bad happened. That's right. Henry is the inventor of Bendy. Oh boy. This is 
everything's going wrong here. Everything's going straight up, completely off the walls, wrong. Just be safe, please. It seems we've reached the end of my to-do list, my little errand boy. I hope you enjoyed our time together. I'll always treasure it. Return to the lift. It's time to go home. Ha, ha, ha.